In AA's big book, on pages 26, 27, and 28, there is a story about an American businessman who is plagued by the disease of alcoholism. The big book says this man floundered from one sanitarium to the next, then sought out the care of the celebrated European psychiatrist Carl Jung. Carl Jung tells this man that he has almost no hope of ever recovering from alcoholism, that his only hope is to undergo a complete emotional rearrangement and to have what Jung calls a vital spiritual experience. He must cast aside old ideas and attitudes and adopt a whole new set of beliefs. Only then will he be rid of his alcoholism. The big book says that the businessman was relieved to hear this because he was a good church member and had religion. However, Carl Jung explains to the man that religious belief is not enough, that he must undergo a complete spiritual change. Why is this man mentioned early in the big book? Who is this man and why is his story important to alcoholics hoping to recover? The man's name is Roland Hazard and his story is important because he is the grand sponsor of Bill W, one of the originators of the AA program. He is a vital link in the formation of AA. For it was Roland Hazard's encounter with Dr. Jung in Europe, coupled with Dr. Silkworth's assertion that alcoholism is a disease that serves as the basis for the AA program of recovery. It is the combination of spiritual change and the knowledge that alcoholism is a disease that provides the basis for the 12 steps that AA gives us. The 12 steps help us to undergo the complete spiritual change Dr. Jung described to Roland Hazard. Roland Hazard left Carl Jung's office and returned to America. It was in New York that he joined the Oxford group headquartered at Calvary Episcopal Church and underwent his own spiritual change. In the Oxford group, Roland Hazard transformed spiritually and found sobriety. It was by working with the Oxford group that Roland Hazard was able to finally put down the drink. So how did Roland Hazard become Bill W's grand sponsor? How did the message of recovery reach Bill W? Well, part of the Oxford group's program was to spread the message of spiritual transformation to others. Roland Hazard was able to stay sober by working with others. One of the people he worked with was a man named Debbie Thatcher, a chronic alcoholic much like himself. Roland Hazard transmitted the Oxford group's message to Ebby Thatcher and helped Ebby Thatcher achieve sobriety. Ebby Thatcher in turn attempted to stay sober by transmitting the Oxford group's message to his friend Bill W. So it was through Ebby Thatcher that Bill W. got the spiritual transformation described by Carl Jung in his office to Roland Hazard. Uh, this is a little video that shows uh, the Cavalry Church, Cavalry Episcopal Church in Manhattan at the, the corner of 21st Street and Park Avenue. This was the headquarters of the Oxford Group back in the 30s. This is uh, the church that Roland Hazard attended and he was a member of the Oxford Group. Uh, we're going to cross the street here and we're going to uh, take a look inside. I heard a uh, um, Sam Shoemaker, who was the pastor of the church and the leader of the uh, Oxford group, say um, during a talk that he was giving in front of an AA convention that uh, there was a window inside of this church dedicated to Roland Hazard. So we're going to take a look at that window. It's right inside the door here. Here's the window. And this window is dedicated to the memory of Roland Hazard. And we're going to take a little bit of a look at it and we're going to look at uh, the name of Roland Hazard here at the bottom it's his name Roland Hazard is at the bottom of the window this is inside the Calvary Episcopal Church at the corner of 21st Street and Park Avenue in New York City um, this is inside the church inside the vestibule area uh, we'll take a look inside of the church 
uh, take a peek through the door. It's a little bit dark in here. It's a little bit dark. Maybe you can see all the pews, uh, the lights at the top, the high ceilings. Um, take a look at a few of the stained glass windows over there on the other side of the room. On the other side of the church. Look around the church. This is inside the Episcopal Cavalry Church. Uh, where Roland Hazard was a member of the congregation and also a member of the Oxford group. Here's another look at the window. Take another look at the window. This is the stained glass window inside the church that's dedicated to the memory of Roland Hazard, who was the grand sponsor of Bill W. He uh, brought the message from Carl Jung to America, incorporated that with the uh, the message from the Oxford group passed that on to uh, Ebby Thatcher, and Ebby Thatcher passed it on to um, Bill W. Here's another look at the outside of the church. This is Cavalry Episcopal Church in Manhattan at the corner of 21st Street and Park Avenue. Thanks for watching.